darling. Hi, you're probably wondering why I'm popping up here, but my stomach's rumbling if you can hear that. Maybe you can't, but please ignore the thread on my arm. I didn't know until after I was editing, and also I keep looking at the wrong side of my camera <laughs> because I flipped the way I was using it. So if I'm looking off to the side, I'm trying to look at the camera and I don't realize now that I'm not looking at the camera. So apologies. We figuring stuff out here. Welcome or welcome back, Cellulite and Love Tarot, or Hillary for short. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and that you're feeling great. It is Manifestation Monday here, so this reading is all about manifesting. I'm excited to see what's going on, what you need to be aware of specifically for your manifestations. And I believe I'm going to start this reading off by identifying maybe a more specific view of the person that I should be reading for today. So I usually use the Wild Unknown Archetypes for that. And then I think I'm going to use my new deck. I'm never going to remember the name of it. Oh my gosh. The Sacred Symbols Oracle for some details. And then I'll get into what spirit or your higher self really wants you to be focused on and aware of right now as you're manifesting. Okay. Just a reminder, I do view manifestation through the scope of Neville Goddard teachings, but I also welcome the law of attraction, whatever works for you. It's really not about a specific method. Um, yeah, it's not about a specific method. I was trying a new setup for my camera and it's being weird right now. I keep seeing that there's some people who can like use their Apple Watch <laughs> so that they get higher quality resolution. They use their phone, the back camera, rather than the front facing camera. And uh, they put their iWatch on their phone to reflect what's going on. But my iWatch keeps, or Apple Watch, whatever, <laughs> keeps turning off. So it's not working, but it's fine. It's fine, it'll be fine. This is great. We'll see how this goes. All right, let's jump into it. Spirit, my higher self, my darling's higher self, thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct. I ask for the most clear and concise messages, information, feelings, and sensations to flow through me for the betterment of my darling and for the highest good of everyone involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. And thank you for being here. All right, let's see. Who am I reading for? Let's see, so far we have the river and nectar. Okay, what else has to come out? Who am I reading for today? Okay, Woo. The father. The womb. The village, the shapeshifter, the bardo. Okay, the self on bottom. I'll show you each of these cards. The river. The nectar. The father. The womb. The bardo. The shapeshifter, the village, with the self on bottom. I already did show you that one. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I could be reading for a masculine, a prominent masculine energy today, actually, with the father. Um, it doesn't have to be, but maybe you navigate primarily out of very masculine energy, very much action taking, you know, leadership, taking a, more of a doer. You're a doer, right? Rather than a thinker or a feeler, you're just more of a let's, let's get things going, right? Very action oriented. I feel like right now you are trying to reflect on feelings, right? Because maybe what you're dealing with in manifesting is that you are trying to overcompensate for the way that you feel by just trying to overachieve in certain areas with the father, right? And an important part of the creative part of manifesting, right? Birthing a new reality, 
a, a new version of yourself actually is feeling like you are that version of yourself rather than just showing up both are very important but if one outweighs the other then there's an off balance right it's almost like I could be talking to someone who doesn't really like to reflect on their feeling of insecurity about what's possible for them right they just want to control the narrative by just doing as much as they can to try to make something happen and then you are like a little upset when things fall flat and the thing is I feel like this is an important time for you to be reflecting on you know how you feel you actually are who you feel you actually are how you feel you belong or don't belong right I'm getting an imposter syndrome with the shapeshifter in the village it's almost like you're like I could be part of a certain community or I could be doing you know around people who are doing what I like to do but I feel like I don't belong there right and that's just an inner story that you speak about yourself right and that is the important part about creating this new version of yourself with your reality that you're trying to manifest is that you have to transform you have to allow your current version of yourself right this current identity to die the bardo is all about the transition from physical to spiritual right it's an in-between place it's transition shapeshifter would be like instead of feeling like you're an imposter and the desired reality that you want it's like you need to actually make yourself believe that you belong nurture those sorts of feelings right reflect on why you don't think that you belong right I don't want you to focus on why you don't think you belong more I want you to focus on what it would be like to feel like you belong actually I think that's more important um, because often the question the answer is hidden in the question so if you're wondering why I don't belong you know it's you really need to just get into a feeling of belonging to answer that question right because that can kind of be an open-ended question for yourself you're like I don't know why I don't feel like I belong I just don't because I'm not there yet okay so put yourself in a feeling state of being where you want to be of experiencing what you want to desire of the version of yourself that you want to be right and the thing is what I love about that is that it does require action taking right but not in an overcompensating way it still takes action to change a feeling state right and then to show up in a way that is protecting that version of yourself, right? Nurturing it, growing it, letting it take time without feeling like an imposter. I feel like this is something that you're practicing and that you have struggled with, right? But ultimately, I do see that you're going to be successful as long as you keep working on this part, right? Feeling and accepting. Feeling and accepting and paired, paired with your action-taking abilities okay let's see can you give me some more information here about my darling care what's going on for them and their manifestations what is let's see what symbols what sacred symbols <laughs> feel free to screenshot these if you find one that calls to you I might read the book on these two actually on these sacred symbols okay. what sacred symbols what information do I need to know about my darling or my darling needs to know about the version of their self that they are wanting to be? Stormy, 21. I would be a terrible surgeon. I'm so shaky all the time. <laughs> Rough waters, transition, good fortune. We've got the number 21, we've got 13. That one's poking out. What is this? Focus. 24. Mm -hmm. Nature spirits 39. Is that the bottom? Yeah, I feel like you're having a hard time focusing on, you know, abundance in whatever reality you're trying to manifest. Maybe you're trying to manifest being in a position of leadership or 
really taking, feeling more in control of your life, you know, feeling like you are actually able to create what you want. Um, feeling like life is good, right? And you just have a hard time focusing on the good. You sort of focus on the trials, you know, the, the stumbling blocks, the, the road bumps. I'm getting like a stuttering, so maybe you have a hard time con communicating, right? And it's because of this fear of being heard or seen, being perceived. There's like this fear of being perceived or being misperceived, right? So then we have a hard time really communicating our true intentions, our heart, our desires. It's almost like anxiety inducing. I'm gonna read the book on these real quick and then we'll get into tarot. Okay, Stormy came out first, 21. Drama straight ahead. Prepare, embrace yourself. Conditions are not favorable at this time. Wait the storm out before proceeding. Please don't worry either. The weather can change very quickly. Meditate on this when you want to call on your sea legs <laughs> to keep you safe and secure through a hardship or stressful period. If you are inquiring about a relationship, please be warned that this situation will bring a lot of upheaval to your path. Proceed with Caution, the symbol is a ship. A pirate boat on the ocean just makes its way through a storm only to be headed towards another. Yeah, I feel like you are, you feel like life is one storm after another, one obstacle after another, right? You're like, I'm just trying to get to the good part, but I feel like I'm just dealt, dealt with issue after issue, problem after problem. There's just, all I see are problems. All I focus on are problems. Okay, good fortune. No matter what your query, the universe gives you its blessing. This is also a powerful time for manifesting, so ask now for what you want more of in your life. It is granted. Acknowledge the blessing in your life and more will appear. Yeah. The pagan magical symbol for blessings and good fortune. That's what this symbol is. Focus, 24. If you've been feeling scattered, now is the time to hone in on your desires. Time to be direct and very clear with your intentions. Watch your thoughts because you are drawing into your life what you are focusing on. Meditate on this card when you want clarity and directness in thought and speech. I was talking about the stuttering. The symbol is the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow have long been used as a weapon for hunting and protection. Now they are used more for sport. It is with great focus, discipline, and sight that one becomes a skilled archer. I love that. Let me see the nature spirits on bottom too, actually. With Stormy and the nature spirits, I'm like, Storm is part of nature. The elementals, fairies. Okay, what is that? That's not divas. Devas? <laughs> And other nature spirits request your presence. It's time to venture outside, get into nature, and recharge your batteries with the trees, the grass, the mountains, the desert, and the sea. There is a magic that awaits you when you commune with nature. The symbol is the dryad. Dryads are tree spirits and keepers of the earth knowledge. Greek in origin, but worshipped by many respected earth-based religions. Okay, so I just got a specific download. There could be um, a really healing and cleansing experience for you if the next time that you have a storm, you go to a water area, a pond, a lake, a river, whatever's near you, the ocean, um, and really let the energy of the storm and the water wash over you, right? That's not part of Neville Goddard or manifesting, but it could just feel really refreshing and cleansing. It might be like a, I'm getting like a initiation of you like sort of washing yourself clean of any perceived impurities that you feel like you have towards what you're wanting to create in your life. Um, yeah, especially if, if you're someone that's drawn to storms specifically, drawn to heavy rain or drawn to water, I'm getting that very emphasized. Like look at these water drops here under this good fortune. Yeah, I feel like that would be really good for you to do like a really intense focusing on 
releasing this old version of yourself that you don't want to be anymore to manifest what you desire, right? Instead of avoiding the storm, kind of go into it and allow, allow it to wash over you. Let's get into tarot. I'm excited for this. This energy actually feels really good and I feel like you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> water, water, water. <laughs> Maybe you're manifesting a love opportunity. Yeah, having the strength to sort of open up, open up emotionally, right? Be vulnerable, feeling, feeling. Yeah, okay. All right, spirit, what's going on with my darling and their manifestations? What is the current situation? What are they manifesting right now? I'm going to do a Celtic cross, so I'll need the backstory. I'll need <laughs> what they're expecting, what they don't expect, any upcoming situations, how they feel, how others feel, the greatest hopes and fears and then the outcome okay but right now what are they manifesting what's my darling manifesting at this time page of pentacles strength reversed i feel like there's something that you want to take a chance on you want a new opportunity here in the tangible right manifesting something tangibly with the page of pentacles um, it could be a new job, it could be a relationship, it could be trying to learn something, getting into a new, uh, I heard something about the trades, interesting, maybe studying something, but the thing is it requires you to accept that you don't know everything, right? You don't have it all figured out and you have to be willing to be a beginner, right? So right now it's like you're trying to manifest, how can I get into this even though I'm not well equipped with the strength reversed, okay? Leo season could be significant. We just entered cancer season and Leo is the next one after that. So end of July, early August. So maybe that could be significant, but yeah, I feel like right now you're just like, I want this opportunity even though I feel like I am not prepared for it, right? I don't have what it takes. Interesting. Okay, what's the blockage for the situation, spirit? literally the devil <laughs> your your own perceived restrictions okay what you feel like is possible and not possible you might have certain things that you are bound to it could be relationships it could be certain jobs it could be you have a certain contract that you're stuck in for a certain amount of time you're in a certain relationship that you know you have a lot of assets tied to something that is making you feel like you are having a hard time releasing Ultimately, the devil card is just talking about mental blockages though, but we really we really focus on the external, the material as being something that can prevent us from moving forward to what we want, right? You could have certain, um, you, have, you could have certain behaviors that are hard to let go of, right? Certain patterns of behavior, certain vices that you are having a hard time letting go of. It could be, like I said, it's kind of a bittersweet thing. You're like, man, I'm kind of a little bit comfortable, right? The devil, people get very uncomfortable with the devil because they're like, ooh, the devil. But really, the devil can be extreme, but often it, it's disguised as comfort, right? It's disguised as comfort and that keeps you complacent. So complacency, feeling like, man, maybe this, like, is life really that bad right now? Like, do I have to change things? You know, maybe it's just better if I don't pursue this. So yeah, this is just kind of like your own thoughts, your own, your own barriers, right? That are sort of preventing you from taking the step forward to offer something, to apply for that job, to enroll in that class, to ask someone out or something, you know, I don't know, but let's see. What happened in the past that really kick-started this desire for this opportunity to come in? The star, healing after a hard time, Aquarius energy, we've got Capricorn energy there. So I feel like the thing is the star is all about basically 
hope when there shouldn't be any because the star comes after the tower which is a sudden unexpected drastic change that often feels life shattering it's not something that is it's not something that people look forward to no matter even if we want something to change it's like be careful what you wish for you because you just might get it all right be careful what you wish for so I feel like you're just like okay something drastically changed but now I'm having this feeling of like maybe there's a possibility for something to work out in a better way right but then there's a fear associated with that hope there's a fear associated with that with the devil obviously because you're like okay I, I really feel like I could be meant for that I really could feel like oh maybe I'd be better in that position it's 12 it's 12 34 1 2 3 4 on the clock right now mm -hmm. okay <laughs> So I feel like even though you're hopeful and you have excitement, you feel like something's meant for you, you feel like something's a wish fulfillment, right? like things can get better, there's then this fear attached to, well, what if it falls apart again with the devil, right? What if it falls apart again? Mm hmm Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. What does darling expect from their manifestations? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm getting a couple messages, so hold on, let me kind of piece them together. Okay, first message is that you kind of feel like you can take your time with this, right? That if it's meant for you, then it'll just keep hanging around, you know? Like you can just kind of hem and haw about it and really decide and just, you can take as long as you want, you know? <laughs> Something about seven years could be significant. Um, the other story that I was getting is that you might feel like it's going to require a lot of effort, okay? A lot of effort, a lot of dedicated effort, and maybe it'll take more effort than the rewards that you'll reap from this, you know? Like, it'll take a long time for it to take off, maybe? So it's either that it's going to take a long time and you're going to have to be patient, or you just feel like that you can wait and hem and haw about it for a while, and it'll still be there if it's meant for you, right? Be careful about that careful about that. All right, what does darling not expect from the situation? Seven of wands, double sevens here, 77. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. You don't expect to actually have to make a stand, okay? To take a stand, to actually chew something and defend this idea, this manifestation, this new reality, this new version of yourself, defend it regardless of what anyone says, right? If you want, you have to decide what you want and then you have to show up in a way that says it's mine, right? It's mine. It, it would be like hoping that you can land a new, a new position, right? Hoping that you can work for a certain company but then it's like you never actually apply. You never actually apply, you never do anything because you never feel like you're ready enough, right? Or it's like you set, you submit an application, okay? You submit an application and then you just leave it there when really it's like you should be following up on the application that you sent. If you really want to work for a specific company, then it's not just applying, follow up on it. Follow up on getting an interview, you know, talk to people, really put yourself out there, really show that you're invested, right? Whereas you just feel like, well, if I just make one effort, then, you know, if it's meant for me, it'll come, right? But this is like, you have to take action, like, which is really bizarre because I feel like you're already an action taker. Like I said, I feel like the problem is that you're not feeling that you're ready, right? The thing about the wands, it's action taking and it's feeling both combined, right? Passion is the soul in action. So it's both things. So it's like you have to really not only just take one step of action and then like sit in fear, right? And insecurity. It's like you need to take action and then follow up repeatedly in the feeling state of I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to have this relationship. I'm going to, you know, stake my claim here. I'm going to work for this company. I'm going to move. I'm going to whatever this is, right? Get into this school. Like I'm going to do what I need to do, right? Having to take a stand. Okay, what's an upcoming situation that my darling needs to be aware of regarding this situation? Regarding what they're manifesting? The chariot. Another seven. Seven, seven, seven. Good fortune. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Is there anything else that wants to come out with this chariot for an upcoming situation? Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords. A breakthrough. Breakthrough. The thing is, the Ace of Swords would cut these people feeling bound by their, you know, what's restricting them. It cuts them free. It cuts them loose, right? It's a moment of clarity, right? A, a deciding, deciding a truth, right? So with that, I feel like, I feel like what happens is that you're given an opportunity to get into the feeling state. And as you meditate or manifest from a feeling state of belonging of it already being true, right? As you start identifying and feeling like the version of yourself in your desired reality, then things start to unfold rather rapidly for you. You see pretty quick movement in your 3D, right? But it requires you to take that step emotionally, emotionally, okay? You're just like, maybe it's not all logic, right? Maybe it's not all logic. Maybe you actually get a contract here, right? Yeah, you could get a contract even though it's like a highly sought after opportunity. Maybe you land a specific lover who has, you know, could have anyone that they possibly want, maybe. <laughs> but you beat the odds, you overcome. You overcome your challenges. Cancer energy with the chariot. We're in cancer season right now. Okay, let's see. What is, how's my darling feeling about this situation whenever it comes up? Two of Pentacles. Ooh, there's the stormy waters. Oh, two of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Six of Cups. This could be about a relationship. Doesn't have to be. There we go. Sorry. Here's the deal. Like I said, somewhere in your past, you had a significant moment of deterioration, right? That you're just now healing from, that you just now feel hopeful that you can overcome, right? So I feel like what happens when this opportunity arises is that you get into a moment of like, oh, I don't know that I'm actually ready for that. I don't know that that fits into my life. I don't know that I could be that person. Two of Pentacles is going back and forth, feeling, feeling overwhelmed and pulled too thin between priorities, right? But the whole message of the Two of Pentacles is to figure out long-term, think long-term, Think two years from now. What do you want two years from now? You're worried about what you're dealing with right now, but you need to think two years ahead of time and then show up as the person to make that future long-term, you know, goal possible. I feel like you are aware of this. You're like, okay, I can't think short-term. I can't let my short-term insecurities, my short-term fears, my short-term like, oh, I'm not sure that I can do this. I can't let that get in my way. I have to be emotionally balanced, right? If I want this partner, my perfect match, I have to choose being the person who's in that connection, right? This is also a soul connection here with the Six of Cups. This does not have to be love. This could just be talking about being, feeling like you are equipped to be a leader in a position that you actually love, right? In a place that you love, a business that you love, friendships that you love, whatever this may be, whatever you're trying to manifest feeling emotionally stable about it, right? Not letting it waver, not letting your past affect your future, right? Learning those lessons emotionally and moving forward and saying, I can have something better than what I thought I, you know, what I thought was meant for me. I can have something better because I've learned from that and I've grown from that. So I feel like you're, you're very wise about it. You're being very realistic as far as like, hey, I can't just like let my short-term fears or short-term responsibilities be the downfall of something that I really truly want. That'll just repeat a pattern in my past. I don't wanna repeat that, right? Very good, I like that, I like that. I like that a lot. How are others feeling about darling and their situation when this opportunity arises? Death on bottom, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Here's the deal. The only people around you that matter are people who are on your team no matter what. They want your they want your happiness, they want your stability, they want your joy. 
They want you to feel empowered, right? So this is only focusing on those people. So if you are worried about any other people who maybe you even worry that they have something negative to say behind your back or they have bad motives, Spirit's saying they don't matter. The only people that matter are the ones who are like, go for it. Like what, if you know what you want, go for it, you know? Um, yeah, the thing is you're transforming something, okay? You're transforming maybe, yeah, again, I'm kind of feeling like, they're so excited for you because you're changing being a defeatist. That's what this is. You've been a defeatist in your life. Death, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. You've been a perpetual defeatist in your life, okay? Whether or not you <laughs> identify as that. I feel like you have been. That's been fueling your complacency. You're just like, it doesn't work out anyways. It's not, it's, goodness isn't even that good. Life is just not good. You know, what, don't even be optimistic, right? So I feel like people are so excited because you're stepping into a new version of yourself that is no longer a defeatist. You can't manifest what you want and be a defeatist. Those two don't go hand in hand. You will always manifest being defeated if you're a defeatist. So I feel like there are, peop there are people around you who are just like, yes get your person, get that job, get that position, get your empowerment, realize your worth, realize that you're worthy, realize what you're capable of, and make the life that you desire. This is a very prosperous, abundant, fertile time in your life, okay? This is so good, so good, so good. Wow, okay. All right, what are my darling's greatest hopes about this situation? Queen of Pentacles reversed is interesting. Can you give me another one? What is that? The Magician. Six of Wands on bottom. Queen of Pentacles reversed Magician for greatest hopes. This could have to do with, if you're trying to manifest someone from your past, a partner that you really felt like was ideal, an ideal match for you, and you're trying to bring them back into your world, your greatest hopes are that this person is going to make a return, right? Like they're gone, but they're going to come back, right? We're going to make it out. We're, we're going to make out. <laughs> we're going to make it through this. It's going to work out. <laughs> I'm gonna feel my best self, right? I'm gonna feel successful. Like, yeah, you're just like, that. I'm gonna get my person back. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna come back, okay? <laughs> okay, if that's, not, if that's not relationship related, then maybe you just feel like, okay, maybe I lost a position that I really felt empowered in, right? Maybe feeling like I'm not prepared for any, you know, higher level leadership, maybe I'm gonna man manifest my way out of that mindset, right? And allow myself to feel proud of myself and to feel encouraged, right, <laughs> capable. Okay, what is my darling's greatest fears about this situation? Two of Cups neutral, that the feelings won't be reciprocated, that it's not going to be as fulfilling as you hoped that it would be, the hanged man reversed. Yeah, you're just like, that I will have, oh, with the sun on bottom. You're like, oh, five of cups, four of wands reversed. Oh. This is feeling more like a relationship. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna read it the other way, but I feel like your greatest fear is that like, you've lost this person in your life for good, right? That they have made up their mind and they're not going to change it. They're not, they're not gonna understand where you are coming from. They're not gonna see your perspective and in result like your ultimate abundance right your feeling of happiness and unity and family will just be gone you'll have lost it you'll have to live in regret for what slipped through your fingers you have a severe fear of losing this person losing this opportunity losing not not measuring up in some way right being rejected right mm, yeah okay Okay, Spirit, tell me about the outcome here. 
Queen of Swords. That is mental mastery being having a very rigid mental diet, not allowing yourself to go down this um, rabbit trail of being a defeatist. Wheel of Fortune, Fortune reversed after that Queen of Swords, as you saying, okay, I've perpetually been in a cycle of never changing things, never making real actual changes in my life. That has to stop. That has to stop. If I'm going to make a change, if I'm going to, you know, have luck be on my side, have favor rule in my fortune, fortune rule in my favor, then I have to be very strict with myself mentally. Okay. I can't think the way a defeatist thinks and then expect success. Okay. Any more outcome cards here? Again, this is all just saying that your your mindset really matters right now. Okay, Seven of Cups. Five of Swords. <laughs> yeah. Right now your outcome is really focused on you working on your mindset, right? Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune Reverse, Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. It's like, maybe you're someone because you feel like a defeatist, right? Then you try to leave before anyone can leave you. Or you try to just quit while you're ahead, you know? And so you've really got to work on this pattern because, yeah, things aren't going to change and you're not going to keep someone or a situation in your life if you keep repeatedly leaving it first, right? If you keep being unclear, if you're not stable. Like, you have to work on your stability before you... Ex expect anyone else to continually be stable and there for you, right? You can't expect to be landing a job and keeping it if you, you know, don't show up and put in the work, right? If you're not giving it your best, right? If you're not showing up like you actually really want this, you have to really want it and you have to be strict with yourself to say, stop being a defeatist. Stop it. Okay, I really want to tap into this person real quick because I'm getting a heavy person energy, so I want to tap into their energy real quick for you, okay? This has nothing to do with your mindset, but maybe it'll be helpful for you to stay on your own mental diet about this, okay? But yeah, I'm just getting a really, I'm just curious, okay? Okay, Spirit, will you please tell me about the portion of my collective here that is trying to manifest this person back into their life. Tell me about the person that they are hoping to bring back into their life and their feelings, their stance right now. What is their energy right now towards my darling and what are their hopes and what are their desires? Let's see. Okay. Their energy right now. Strength. <laughs> Strength. This person is trying to hold out right? They're trying to be strong. They're trying to feel empowered in their own body and their own well-being as well. They're trying to find their source of contentment, of pride, of belonging in their self. So I feel like you could be dealing with a very mirroring situation. Okay. How are they perceiving my darling? What is their energy towards my darling and their connection? Five of Swords. There's been some sort of conflict here, right? They could have said something that they regret or they're just thinking about why why it has to be so hard. Like they feel like it's just really hard. But the thing is this person in strength energy facing the five of swords, it's not like they're defeatist. This person's not a defeatist. So this person's like, I wish that we could just work things out. Like I'm strong enough to handle conflict and push through and find a solution. That's what I want, right? But just like how hard is it going to continue to be, right? They feel like you could be regretting some things too. Um, maybe you speak before you think. Maybe you don't. Maybe you postpone feeling until after the fact, you know, and they're, they're aware of that. You just kind of act on a whim. And yeah, it's like after the fact, then you have this realization of like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, you know. So this person's trying to be strong and let you work through this, okay? This person understands that this part of your journey and your manifesting and your connection, there's an accountability that 
is on your part, right? That really needs to be held. And this person is also taking accountability for their part, right? But they also recognize like, I can't do your part for you. Like we both had to be work working on doing our own parts and then coming together, right? Yeah, okay. Um, how are they feeling about my darling in their heart space? The Hierophant and the Magician. This person really is committed to you, okay? Heavily committed to you. They want something traditional. They want to be there for you. They want you to know without a shadow of a doubt that they're there for you, right? They're manifesting you coming back into their life too, okay? They're trying to learn everything they can learn. They're like, okay, it's not just about me either. Like, I need to learn how this person works, right? What what hurts them, what what doesn't hurt them, what makes them feel happy, what makes them feel loved, what makes them feel appreciated, and then I need to show up in a way that is honoring of that so that this person knows that like, I'm not just trying to take from you, I'm also trying to give to you, right? I wanna make a spiritual connection more grounded here. Yeah, okay. Um, what is this person viewing as a blockage right now for this connection? The hangman, literally, uh, there's a waiting period, first of all. The hangman talks about there being a pause, right? A pause, a necessary pause so that we can get our mindset on right. Get our head on straight, right? Figure out what you want. Figure out what you want. You can't want one thing and then act a different way. It doesn't work like that. So perspectives need to be seen differently. So this person feels like maybe maybe you have a hard time seeing their perspective or maybe they've had a hard time seeing your perspective. And it's just like we both need to be willing to see the other's perspectives, right? Instead of being um, against each other, we really need to be working on saying, okay, how do you view this is a situation that I have a problem with, right? That I'm feeling weird about. How are you viewing this, right? Trying to be amicable, right? But they feel like this has been hard. It's been very hard for you guys to see the other's perspective in situations. Okay. Um, what actions... Actually, what, what is their desires for this connection right now? Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. They're like, come on, let's bring the fun back into it. It hasn't been fun for a long time. And that's really sad to this person because you're the person that they have the most fun with. They feel the most loved for, they feel the most connected to, and they're just like, I miss it feeling that way. I really want to make things not so heavy. I want to be lighthearted. I want to be... I want to mesh well together again. Like, this is what I really want. Like, let's not, let's just take the difficulty out of it. Okay, is there any action that this person might be taking or that they want, that they're hoping Darling will take, right? Um, and please help me decipher which is for which, okay? The tower, drastic changes. There might be something that needs to end that you feel like is stable for you or they might have something that they feel tied to right now that is a sense of security, a false sense of security that needs to end, right? Uh, but it is a major upheaval. So um, there's a major, major upheaval that needs to happen either in your life or in their life, possibly both. Scorpio energy. Five of Wands, Hermit, the Emperor. Baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. I'm looking at like how this lightning bolt is in the shape of a heart. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what, what action needs to be taken? The Tower, Five of Wands, Hermit, the Emperor. Three of cups on bottom. And um, there's heavy like third party energy here for sure. So maybe there's like this feeling of like competitiveness or feeling like one person tries to make the other one jealous or something. And there's just like this desire for that to be over, right? Like let's just put that behind us. Like that's not helping anyone, right? Whatever foundations with other people need to be 
disintegrated, they want those to be disintegrated, right? If you have ties to someone else or you're s stuck on people from your past or, you know, you follow whatever. If you have to have every ex that you've ever been with on your friends list and you feel weird if you don't, like, they're just like, that's weird, <laughs> okay? If, same for them. They're just like, th there needs to be ties released from competitive energies for sure. Like it, it doesn't need to be this dramatic anymore. I would rather just be alone with you. They just want to be alone with you. I want to be alone with you. They could view you as um, a divine masculine energy. There's Virgo and Aries there. Or maybe they're, yeah, I'm, I'm getting masculine energy. So maybe I'm reading for a divine masculine. I don't know. But there's this, this desire to just sort of like be with you and not have you be elsewhere mentally focusing on other people whatever they just like want your presence right they want your connection here yeah the world the four of swords and the five of cups it's just like i, I want to get past the hard part it's been hard for a long time it's been hard for a long time i'm tired of being sad i just want answers right i just want answers So they either want this or they want to be able to release. Like if, if we can't disconnect from other energies that muddy our connection, then I need to be okay with releasing you and letting you, whatever, you know? Or you need to be okay with releasing me. One of the other things, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see, you'll have to let me know if that resonates. That's just for that person. Okay, um, I don't wanna close this out, spirit. Quick words of advice. Okay. Words of advice. Or just something, darling, to be aware of and focusing on. <laughs> Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Believe that you're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to be fulfilled. Right? You can take chances and you can you can follow where your soul is guiding you to and believe in the best outcome. You really can. It is meant for you. If you have such a strong desire for something or someone, then that's just a sign that it's meant for you. King of Cups being emotionally balanced and believing that you are worthy of it. The Fool. Four Pentacles. Okay, that's interesting. So, anything else first before I say this message, Spirit? Different perspective, necessary. Hanged Man energy again. The Devil. Literally, you need to think things differently, right? You can't keep going in, this, in the cycles of the way that you have thought and believed. And I feel like a big part of this has been, I can't, I can't pursue this relationship. I can't have this person. I can't go to that job. I can't move to the city because what if I don't make enough? Four of Pentacles is about hoarding resources and time and energy because you don't feel like you have enough. You're worried about losing it all with the Five of Pentacles right? And that keeping you stuck exactly where you hate being with the eight of swords. You're just like, I, I'm wanting something else to make me feel secure that I'm able to move forward. But that security can only come from you. It can only come from you, right? Spirit saying, when you are so dead set on things have to work out a specific way, I have to have a certain amount of money, I have to make a certain amount, I have to feel a certain way, you know, like with my 3D, then you are blocking yourself off from opportunities of generosity. The universe wanting to give you exactly what you want. Are you open to receive what you want? Because if you keep finding reasons why you can't have it and you keep shutting it down and you keep feeling trapped and you keep feeling like it's not meant for you, then you're not open. You're very closed off. You need to be open to a miracle, right? To the universe being generous. 
right? Yeah. Um, so King of Cups is being emotionally balanced enough to take a leap with the Fool. Being emotionally balanced to take a leap and not immediately sabotage it because of your fears of instability, of not having enough, of not providing enough, of not whatever, whatever you think you're not enough of. It's not true. It's just your perception that needs to change. And it's, it's a very negative perception too. Luckily, strength overcomes the devil permanently with the knot. Permanently. You don't have to think the way that you think forever. And nothing around you will ever change the way that you think. You have to change the way that you think. And I think if you reflect enough in your life, you'll recognize where any situation around you, if you kind of view it from a different perspective, all the past things that you thought you wanted that then fell apart, think about why they fell apart. Was it really other people? Was it really other situations? Was it really other things? Or was your energy already muddying the situation beforehand because you doubted that it was possible or you doubted that it, you were stable, that you were secure, that it was long lasting, right? This is not saying that it's all your fault, but there's a real emphasis here on accountability for your own mindset being necessary. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this there. I hope that this reading was super helpful. You are the operant power of your reality. What you believe to be true is true. And if you look around, you can recognize that truth right now. What you believe is true, look at how true it feels. Look at how true it feels. Now imagine if you believed something different. And if you think that that's just ridiculous, there's confirmation bias for a reason. So, yeah. You can change your mind. You can change your beliefs. thus changing your reality. That's all in your control. Okay? Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday. We're going to see who is talking about you. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> I hope to see you then, but if not, that's okay too. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a wonderful week, or a fantastic life. I love you so very much. Take care and ta-ta!